everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanna go over Google Classroom from the student or parent perspective. So as teachers, we see it from our end, we don't always see it from the student end. So this is gonna be a benefit for teachers so they know what your, you'll know what your students are struggling with. And this is also good for students and parents to get to know how to use Google Classroom. In this video, I'm gonna go over how as a student, you're going to add your classes, overview of Google Classroom and its layout, how to submit assignments, and basic classroom management tools built into Google Classroom. So there are a couple ways to add your class. Either your teacher will email you and you click a button that says join. That's all you have to do and you're in the class. The other way is your teacher would give you a code. To get to Google Classroom, you wanna type in the search classroom.google.com, which will take you to Google Classroom or go to the waffle. So your teacher's gonna give you a code. If they don't email you, you're gonna come over here to this plus sign, click on the plus join class. Here you are going to type in the class code that your teacher has given you and click join. Now it's going to add this class to your list. I've called it demonstration. So we'll know which class we're talking about. This is what your class is going to look like when you enter. Up here under demonstration class, it may have a link um, to a Google Meets. If your teacher says, let's meet in Google Meets, I've shared the link with you in your Google Classroom banner, this is where it would be. In this case, we don't have one showing, so we don't have that. The stream, currently we are in the stream. This is where your teacher will put announcements and you will kind of see an overview of what's going on in the class. Over here off to the side, you can see important upcoming due dates. I have a quiz that's due by tomorrow. I have to complete this page too, and there's some problems that are listed. If I go to view all, it'll tell me everything that's coming up. All these assignments have been assigned to me and when they are due. Here you can see what's been assigned, what's been returned with a grade, and what I have missing. So far, I have no work missing, so that's a good thing. So let's go back to my demonstration class. So I just went over here to the side, classroom, demonstration. The next thing I wanna take a look at is classwork. And as you can see here, I have some assignments listed under module one. And I have an announcement. This symbol means an announcement. Notice how it's grayed out. There's nothing for you to do there except read it, follow whatever directions your teacher has given you. These, they're blue or darker color. They're not grayed out. This is something I still need to work on. Off to the side, your teacher will organize your class however they see fit. English might organize it by books. Um, sections could be by date however they want in this case i've organized it by module one and module two if i click on module one it will open up everything in module one what i need to do so this first assignment is due june 11th scrolling down i have one due june 15th and then this is due june 12th so the first thing I see that's due is June 11, and that's this quiz. So let's click on that. I'm gonna go ahead and put the information requested. You can request a copy of your responses so that you have it and you know what you've responded important you want to make sure you press submit if you don't press submit you do not save your answers and your teacher won't be able to find them and if you try to go back later they're gone we don't want to do that so press submit 
and now your teacher will have them. If your teachers allowed you to view your score, you would click here and you will get the results. If not, then you would just have to wait until your teacher returns that assignment to you. So now we've done our quiz. Our other thing we have down here is an assignment and we have to complete page two out of our books, problems one through seven. We can see it's worth a hundred points. So when you're ready, you're going to just do it on a regular piece of paper, or if you've printed something from the computer and filled it out, you can click here, add, upload it from your Google drive, a link or a file, or you can create your own assignment right here. If you actually want to type in, if it's a word document that you need to fill out, if it's an essay for your English class, you would just go here. You can create a Google slide sheets or even a drawing. So this is how you would add your assignments. Once you are done, you mark it as done. Going back to classwork. Now you can see that I have completed the quiz and I've completed this work because I marked it done. Now the next thing I'm being asked to do is mission possible. Click on that. It will open it up here. We can view the assignment and our teacher has actually added a link right here. Here is what the assignment looks like. So you can type right in when you are done, you just press here, you press turn it in. Or if you feel more comfortable, you may print this out and then you would just add it just like you did the previous lesson through your Google drive, wherever you saved your image. After you've printed it, you're going to have to take a picture of it and then share it right here and your teacher will get it, turn it in here under people. This is where you can see your teachers. If there are any co-teachers, your co-teachers will be listed as well. Notice here on all my assignments now are grayed out. There's nothing in the bright blue. I can go over here to topics if I want to just fast forward because this list is going to get really long down the middle and I can just jump to module two. And here our teacher is asking us to watch this video. She hasn't asked us to do anything else with it except watch it. If there's something she's requesting, you would do it just like we did in the previous assignments we did in module one. Right here, you can view all your work and you can see that I've attached things. I've turned things in. All of my assignments have been turned in. And again, this is where you go to see if you are missing anything. We are not missing anything. Once your teacher has graded your work, you can go here, classwork, view your work, and you can see your grades here. I'm noticing here there's a comment and there's a comment here also from your teacher. Click on that. And you can scroll down and see what your teacher wrote. Your teacher is asking you to correct and resubmit this assignment that will help you bring up that 40%. This one, click on the comment. Your teacher says nicely done. So now you've learned how to add your classes. You have a basic idea of what the layout in Google Classroom will look like. Every teacher's layout will look different. You know how to submit assignments and you have some classroom management tools that you can use to make sure that you're staying current on your assignments. Hope this video is helpful. Step out. Be uniquely wonderful you. Have a great day. Bye.